Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ms. Roxanne on this is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing another TV show. We're doing Legends of Tomorrow, and it's called Phone Home. This is season three, episode four. And so we start off with um, people are after a kid, and um, he tries to get into his room, and the uh, people block him, and so the guy shoots him. And then um, we go back to the Wave Rider, where Zari reads everyone on the show because Ray wants to do a team building exercise. And that didn't really work out too great because she literally read every single person on the ship very accurately. <laughs> and then, um, so they want to do it, but Ray still wants to go on. So he wants to do a trust fall with Nick. And um, Ray disappears, and it turns out he died in 1988. So uh, they go. The day before um, Halloween to October 30th um, in 1980, and Roy pops back up. And then, uh, so they do, so they survey Little Ray. And basically, um, he gets out of school and he's shoplifting and stealing candy and stuff. And Mick is so proud of him. <laughs> and then we have um, Billy show up and he thought they were actually his friends, so uh, he's like, bye guys, see you tomorrow. And uh, <laughs> that happened. And basically, he was feeding something underneath his bed as a baby dominator, which is actually kind of cute looking. Um, it's in Ray's room, and so they go back to the lead writer, and they are trying to find a way to get to the dominator, trying to figure out a plan. Because Ray's usually at school, and the mom's always at work. So, what happens is, um, so they go to the house, and basically, um, the mom comes home, and then <laughs> uh, Ray skips school, so uh, Ray struck himself down, and then the mom comes home and fusses Ray out, and so uh, that happens, and as she is fussing him out. Nate and Maya go in and knock on the door because they're on in disguise as pest control. So you have that, and and then Lil Ray runs away, and then Zarya follows him and tries to talk to him, but that does not work good. And then you have um, Nick's conspiracy theory that um, Stein is telling the town bureau about what's happening and that's why they keep get busting they keep um keep getting busted all the time and then um they find on the the logs to the jump ship has uh, been uh erased and and so we miss on to the jump ship and don't and so that just fuels next conspiracy towards Stein. and then nate and the maya uh track down or tr are tracking down Ray, but they find people who are, are also tracking down the Dominator. Then uh, the, the mother Dominator, the Queen Dominator, uh, attacks Sarah. And then we cut to where the professor has been busy. He like orchestrated this entire lab and it's actually really cool looking. And um, then the people Tor so then uh, Zari found Ray and them, and as she's trying to talk to him, basically the other people show up, and it's not pretty where they uh, basically knock her out and eject her with something. And then um, the people torture the baby dominator, then the mother dominator dominates Sarah and basically uh, infiltrates her mind. And then Stein um, made basically made a communication device to his grand to his daughter, and it turns out she's going into labor, so that's why he's been doing the jump shit so he could give her the tech he's been working on to communi communicate with her. And then, um, so she goes into labor. So um, Nick and Jackson, everyone take him back to 2017, and then. Um, they go back to the facility, which was the high school. They just rented out the gymnasium or whatever these people are. And then Ray says Little Ray, and then Ray talks to Little Ray and says, You need to stop being so lovey dovey and blah blah blah. You need to get your you need you can't be put your faith in everybody and think everything's gonna turn out great. 
Um, and then uh, Zari then comforts Lil Ray because it kind of upset Lil Ray a little bit. So Zari comforts him, and then um, Sarah says the cocoon that the mother dominator put her in. And then um, and then he she messaged everyone and says basically um, you need to go look after Nate's mom. Um, Ray's mother, <laughs> and make sure that uh, the dominant doesn't get to her, and basically the mom tries to seduce Nate when he goes there, and turns out the queen dominant is Miss uh, Palmer, <laughs> and the real Miss Palmer is in the cocoon up in a tree. <laughs> so then Amaya shows up, and it's Amaya versus Dominator, and then they all escape, and so I'll convert him to one point. And then the Dom baby, uh, so they rescue the Dom baby, and the baby brainwashes the people into the good morning, good morning song. I don't remember what show that's from. It's way before my time, so I don't know it. But um, it's, a, it's a cute little thing how like, all the bad people are actually singing and dancing to good morning to you. Okay, I'm not going to sing. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> and so... Um, they escape, and then there's this like, E.T. reference where since Zari controls the wind, they do it like E.T. where they're riding over the moon. It's a full moon on Halloween with a um, baby alien at the front of a bicycle. They, say, they escape on bicycles, and they have Ray flying in the background. And then Lil Ray returns Baby Dom to Mother Dom, and they say goodbye. And then we cut to where Lily's baby is born, and they named it Ronnie after Ronnie Raymond, which I thought was kind of cute. And then uh, we have Zarya talks to Lil Ray, and then the Legends go trick or treaty with them, and basically uh, run into the bullies. And basically, Mick goes like, "Can I candy now?" Pointing the heat gun at them, so they fork over the candy and stuff, and. Um, you know, they're all suited up for all, you know, in their costumes. And Zari has, like, all white costume, which I actually kind of like. She said, why am I wearing this? How can y'all fight in this stuff? So, um, we have that. And then, uh, Jax wants to break up Firestorm so Stein can be with his, uh, daughter and granddaughter, grandson. So, I really like this episode. I thought it was a really good halloween type episode. And I just, it was a really, it was just really great. I liked it. I'll give this A+. Plus. It was really great. And it's showing that now Dominators are bad. And the mom's just very concerned about her baby. And just all this other great stuff. And it gave the dive a little bit more into Ray's past. And to his childhood. Which I don't, which I hope they did for the other characters as well. I think it'll be really, really good. So that's what I did for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like. Comment down below what you think. And suggest other stuff because that'd be great. And subscribe. And thank you to the 13 subscribers I got now. Thank y'all so much for subscribing. Appreciate it. And I want y'all to have an awesome time and don't get too trashed on Halloween. <laughs> uh, I want y'all to have a good one and I'll see you later. Bye, everybody.